Hey guys, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can parse and read any XML document inside your web pages using the JavaScript code. So the first thing which I will do is I will open up Visual Studio code, which I'm going to use to create this example. Now I'm going to add a new file, which is going to be index.html. And now let's add some HTML scaffolding to this document. Now, the next thing which we need to do is we need to get the sample XML content which we are going to use to create this example. And for that, I actually looked on the internet and there is a web page in the MSDN documentation which contains an XML sample which we can use. It is basically for the collection of books having several different properties like author title price description etc so um, i will create a new file in this folder let's call it books.xml and i'm going to paste all of this xml content which i copied from that web page now we need to read the XML content from this books.xml file and then we can convert the XML string or XML text into an object model and then we can query that object model of the XML document in the way which is similar to how we query any document object model for the HTML. So let's do that. The first thing which I need to do is I need to add a script tag or any script element and then Let's create a variable for the XML content. And now I'm going to use the fetch API to read the XML string from the books.xml file. And for that, I just need to provide the name of the XML file. And then um, in the then I can provide a function which is going to be called whenever the result will be returned and this function is going to have the response as an argument now we also need to get the text from the response and to do that we need to call the text function this in turn will also return a promise which we need to handle by supplying a callback function Now this XML is going to be the XML content which we will retrieve after the fetch API is finished getting the XML content from this books.xml file. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table on this web page which will have columns for individual properties for all of these books. For example, there is going to be a column for author name and then title and then price and then description etc so for that purpose i'm going to create a div and a table in this html document so this is the table with id books and let me just fix its indentation now this books table has a table header which contains the four columns and we are going to populate the body of this table with individual rows for all the books and we will read the information of those individual books from the um, object model of the XML document which we will create in a moment so let's do that now let's also um, you know what fetch the reference of this books table so to do that I am going to use document dot you know what Let's use get element by ID and then let's provide the ID of this table, this books table. Let me just zoom it so that you will be able to see the code. I guess that's enough. Okay, so this is the table which I was talking about and um, this table books variable is going to have the reference of this table element. Now in this function which will be called whenever the um, promise will finish evaluating we will need to populate this body with individual rows 
for all the different books which are in this XML file. So let's do that. The first thing which we need to do is we need to um, create an object for the DOM parser. So we can do that by calling the constructor of DOM parser, which we are going to use the parse, the XML string. And now let's create the XML DOM. Let's call it XML DOM equals to parser dot and we need to call the parse from a string and then we need to provide the um, the string the XML string which is the XML content and then we also need to provide the type now in this case it is an XML document so we need to provide the application XML type over here okay so now this XML DOM will be an object model which will basically contain the entire structure of the XML document for all of these books basically this catalog um, residing at the root and then these books as children of this catalog so we are going to first get the list of all of these books and to do that I am going to create a variable over here and then we can parse this xml dom object like we do any other document object model for the html so let's just call query selector all and then i'm going to provide the name of the xml element for the books which is book over here let, let me just zoom it um this one this book and then this books will contain the collection which we can iterate upon so books dot for each and then um, you know what we are going to get the individual nodes so books book xml node and then this can be an arrow function now in this function i'm going to populate this table body with individual rows for all of the books and the first thing which i will do is i will create the table row which i will add in each iteration to the table body so that can be done by calling document dot create element and then we need to provide the name of the element which is table row or tr after this we can start to add the columns for the individual properties which we are using for the columns like for author title price and description so let's first start with the author and let's just create the table cell and we can do that in a similar way like we did for the table row so document dot create element and then td now we can set the inner text of this table cell and the value of the inner text is going to be fetched from this book xml node so basically what we need to do is we need to fetch the value which is contained inside this author xml element and this is actually the first child of this book xml node so we can um, use this information for our purpose so book xml node dot children which is a collection and the first one is the author and then inner I guess it should be HTML now similarly we can have the rest of the table cells or table columns oh and we also need to you know append this as a child to the row which we first created so let's do that and now we can add the rest of the columns to the title price and then the description and then finally we can add this row to the table body of this books table so for that we can access the children collection and then in the second child of the table books which is the table body we can use the append child function to append this row as a children for the above table and that should be pretty much it i guess 
there is however something which i missed to do which is important for this code to work and that is to set the xml into this xml content variable which we are using to create this xml dom object so that should be it now to run this web page i'm going to use the live server extension so to use that i just need to click on this open with live server and this will host this application on the local hosts port 5500 which we can access so let's do that okay so as you can see all of the individual books are being populated in this table as separate rows so our code example is working flawlessly now the good thing about this entire code is that we don't really need to use any third party library to um, you know read or parse the xml content it is all supported in all the um, latest and major browsers so you don't really have to worry about all of those things and i guess that should be pretty much it for this video guys do let me know what you think about this and if you have any questions please just use the comment section and also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you think you like this video so i will meet you in the next one till then have a great day